Hello everyone and welcome again. So this video continues on the topic of allies to our happiness and the topic is going to be on resiliency. Unlike the previous video which was on awareness uh, that I had a hard time finding a proper definition on it, the definition on resiliency was pretty on point and that is um, that it is the ability to recover quickly from difficulty. So I feel that the word recover uh, captures a good part of what it is to be resilient. There are other words that also come to mind when uh, I think of resiliency and these are determination, courage, and there's a whole set of other ones that I'm going to be talking about later on. So resiliency is similar to having courage as it helps us push forward when we're facing difficult situations. It is something similar to persevering. And if you think about how it is to persevere, it's about not giving up and to find a way through this. So I'd like to talk about topics that I talked about in many videos uh, and that is anxiety and depression. So being resilient can help us with anxiety and depression. Anxiety comes in when we feel overwhelmed and it's the same as depression. We feel overwhelmed and if we keep on pushing we will eventually get to the point where we'll resolve this conflict or this problem that we have. And that is due to being resilient, right? So if we would continue on this path and basically push through difficulties and then we would eventually become at ease with things, that would make us automatically gain self-esteem because of the things that we accomplished. We just need to recall how difficult it was for us to deal with these situations and how we were able to manage to find a way out and to overcome this. So that's why I say that being resilient is a big ally to our happiness as it helps to push through and be, be able to accomplish something that we didn't think we were, would be able to. So not only will it help you build confidence, but it'll help you be better prepared to face future problems. And it does that by us being able to recall what we've been through and note how difficult it was and then this maybe bigger problem that we might just be able to accomplish and make it through this one as well because of the fact that we know that we were able to make it through in the past so that's a big part of being self-confident so self-esteem is boosted and it's not it's not a fragile self-esteem because we can recall on what we did and how we are able to make it through so that it becomes something that we value that we know that we face adversary and we were able to make it through so now there's something I would like to talk about and that is that it's often that when we accomplish things we kind of like brush it aside and we almost negate or we don't acknowledge the fact that what we accomplished I'm very guilty of that myself and to counter that what I started doing is that I started writing down things that I accomplished every week and at the end of the week or whichever day you choose uh, reward yourself the way that I do it is that I light a candle in memory of what I accomplished in that past week. 
Now, please don't do the same thing as me if you don't feel inclined. You should make this very personal. So if you really want some pizza as a good reward, go grab the pizza. If you really want to watch this movie that you've been wanting for a while, go watch that movie. And by doing so, we will not brush it aside and say, kind of like, move on to the next problem without acknowledging what we just accomplished. And that'll be something big because it'll be able to leave an imprint on your mind that you were able to do this. So I would like to encourage anybody that has any comments to please comment. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask questions. And I would like to thank you all for watching and until next time.